today we have the Integra Type S. This is one of the cars that I was hoping that Acura released a couple of years ago. And today I have the chance to review one of them. As you can tell, black, the white body. Let me focus it. There it is. Look how clean this car looks. Shout out to car sets for ceramic coating this car. But let's get started with the front. We'll construct from here, go to the middle, the end, and then we'll do the interior, and then we'll do some driving. So I want to start with uh, a couple years ago when they released the uh, Integra, uh, not the Type S, just a regular one. I got a call from Acura Los Gatos that they had one in stock, and if I want to come and take a look at it, and I went. It looked nice, but it was missing something, and I knew Acura wasn't going to release an Integra without releasing like a Type S or a Type R. I was hoping it was going to be named Type R, but they got to stick to the new brand, so Type S. And they did a pretty phenomenal job from the baseline Integra to what we have now right here in front of me. Um, as you can tell, it's wider than the stock Integra. If you look to the side, look at those fender flares. It looks and sits, well this one's a little bit more lower than stock, but even though stock form, it just looks better attached to the ground. I don't know if I'm describing that correctly. Front bumper. This front bumper is probably the best front bumper that I've seen in recent cars. Um, as you can see, I like how they did the logo with the grill those little triangles or I don't know what you call them um, but also these really aggressive little vents that come through here on the other side it looks pretty aggressive um, the headlights are also a pretty 10 out of 10 they look just phenomenal as many of you guys know they also have a actual functioning hood scoop or I forgot what they call it but a vent that actually produces air out of there it's not just there for fun and I think it believe yeah it does have a PPF as you guys can see um, front end 10 out of 10 I think it looks amazing I think it's one of the best looking in uh, Acura products in the past 23 years before they got rid of uh, the actual Integra back in the days um, I know the engine is a 2.0 turbo uh, K20. It's a K20 C1 and it's doing about 320 horsepower. You can see those massive brakes. Those things are huge. And then of course they're Brembo. So you definitely got some stopping power. Um, this little side profile looks super aggressive. I really love this car. All right, let's go to the rims wheels whatever you guys want to call or find in the comments below this one has a 265 30 uh, 19 again they're massive but they look so freaking good uh, Michelin what are these Michelin pilot sports 4 S's that's pretty incredible for a car for this type of car but it deserves it I think it deserves the wheels the brakes everything this car is truly a masterpiece by Acura. Moving on to the center of the car. Um, pretty solid. The lines are pretty pretty nice how it starts down there and it goes slowly slowly up in the hatch form. All right let's move to the back of the car. Again you have pretty good decent brake in the back. Car is front wheel drive if you guys didn't know. But in the back you're still packing a good uh, size caliber and of course it's still Brembo uh, with the Michelin Pilots 4S in the back as well so you get pretty good grip. These tail lights, they remind me of the Genesis Mercedes tail lights, but I think Acura just perfected them. How nice that they come from here down and then go up. They kind of remind me like a butterfly type of tail lights. Um, the badge Type S, pretty cool. Uh, you have the little chrome, black, and the red. Nice spoiler. And it's a hatchback. It's not a trunk that you just pick up it's an actual hatchback um, you have the three exhaust which is pretty nice and actually when he turned it on earlier before he left it sounds deep um, on other videos when I watched the reviews of this car it kind of sounded like it wasn't gonna have that deep tone 
but in person the pops and bangs it sounds deep it almost sounds like you're next to a scat pack or something like it has a nice deep tone towards the exhaust side and i'm here for it um, again you have those fender flares on the front and also on the back but right here you can kind of see where it kind of fades back into the body and 10 out of 10 on the rear too um the little uh what do you call these reflectors are pretty nice you don't have nasty looking you have some little vents i don't know but they're pretty nice too um i think the aftermarket community is going to have a lot of fun with this car once they start producing way more parts but overall on uh, the rear i give it a 10 out of 10 as well so now let's see um we cover the front the center and the back wheels tires engine um we're gonna see if we can get into the interior right now but i know these cars are really expensive the market kind of pushed them really expensive out of reach because i really wanted one but when they came out and they were telling me how much they were going for i couldn't justify it but i am glad that somebody in my area got one because now i can review it and i'll probably get one um second market because i really 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 want one it's a really good car for uh, daily driving while also i'm pretty sure you can hit the track and have fun without really doing much uh, 320 is pretty good um other than that yeah let's go and check out the interior all right let's go over to the interior as you can see black on red leather this is a phenomenal interior um, i know a lot of you guys are gonna say oh it looks like the civic yeah but these he put them after so don't trip if your car doesn't have this when you buy it but a, a lot of things that i heard was about the els studio 3d speakers um sound pretty freaking badass he added this and then this little area here around the shift knob also shout out to car suds and then um i really like the contrast of the black with the red um I know the Civic Type R brought the whole red interior, but I think just having these little accents of red here and there, the stitching on the steering wheel, hold on, the stitching on the steering wheel, the stitching over there, pretty nice. And then also you have your Type S badge on the floor mat, right here on the door, pretty solid. I think this makes it look amazing, um, the air vents. Don't know what the, the little texture is but it looks pretty luxurious the radar doesn't come with they don't come on me on the comments you also have the touch i don't know is it is it touch screen or just like that bro the screen uh, touch. touch screen yeah. okay so the screen is touch screen um but it looks pretty good you don't have like nothing really coming over and it doesn't look out of place it actually looks pretty perfect again red interior with the leather feels pretty plush steering wheel 10 out of 10 so interior wise i might be biased at this point but this car is just one of the best cars i've seen in a really long time so let's go to the back on the back again you're gonna have red interior I have my drone we're gonna get some shots right now but you have the liner black the seats everything here cup holders on the back seats black and then the red in uh, leather wrapping around it again your door has little black textures with the red leather this is just awesome you still get a speaker back here down there and then he added this so don't add me either you have a little wing with a little tail light and the fin but overall you have the stamp also on the bumper forgot to mention that overall this car is like a freaking tail oh, you can see right here i don't know if you can see but actual functioning vents that's pretty dope so 10 out of 10 looks everything i think this car just takes the cake pretty amazing car all right we're, let's go out for a little drive and we'll see how it comes back So getting behind the wheel, the transmission, the torque, the power delivery on this car was phenomenal. 
I'm definitely gonna have to buy one of these cars. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna have to get one of these. Um, I think it's a great daily driver with enough power to have fun on the back roads on your way home or on your way to work, doesn't matter. Um, definitely rate this car a perfect 10. Of course, I'm gonna be some bias. Real number would be like a 9.5 out of 10, but for me, Accra did not miss on this car.